What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be talking about an apparent spawn change that they made to Modern Warfare 3, and unfortunately this isn't the good kind of spawn change, this seems to be a step backwards. But with this, I've been pretty busy for the past several days, so I haven't really had too much time to play, but I've been seeing a lot of reports from people, a lot of people tweeting me or leaving comments or Reddit posts, with people saying that they felt like the spawns got worse. However, almost all of these claims were on the tiny maps in the game, and I don't typically play the tiny maps, I actively avoid them, because I'm just not a fan of that like mindless chaos sort of experience, personally. So when it comes to these tiny maps, I couldn't really confirm these claims, because I don't play them enough to know what the spawns are supposed to be like to begin with. And honestly, typically when you see complaints about spawns on shipment, the immediate response is, well, of course, you're playing shipment. Obviously, the spawns are going to be bad. So I didn't think too much of it. However, now that I finally had some time to sit down and play the game, something definitely feels like it changed pretty drastically. And I'm almost certain it has to do with spawns. Now, I just want to be clear up front here. This is almost entirely based on feel. And I'll admit, it's technically possible that I was just playing against some really weird players that play in really strange ways game after game for an entire gaming session, and that's the reason the game wasn't flowing like normal. In saying that though, I was starting to get a pretty good handle over the spawns in Domination, to the point where I was able to predict them fairly intuitively, and yet lately, that intuition wasn't working anymore, and I was noticing things were just flowing in a really strange manner, and as a result, I'm quite confident that they have made some adjustments to the spawns in this game. It's definitely feeling a lot worse now than it was pre-patch. Now, as far as when this changed, I don't believe it was right at the beginning of Season 1. I think this is one of the updates that we've had since Season 1 has launched. But like I said, I haven't had too much time to sit down and grind for a little while, so I'm not entirely sure exactly when this change happened, but it seems to have happened within the past week or so. And I just wanted to list out some of the trends that I've been noticing that felt different with the spawns in Domination. The first big one is it doesn't feel like the spawns are anchoring nearly as heavily as they were a couple weeks ago to the flags that your team holds. And that's a huge part of domination, but I've noticed several instances in my past couple gaming sessions where myself or my teammates or sometimes even enemies are spawning in situations where it's nowhere near the flag that they hold, despite the fact that as far as I can tell based on the minimap and how things have been flowing previously, there's plenty of safe space for them to spawn near the flag that their team holds. I mean, here's just one example, Domination on a state. We just lost a B flag and it is under enemy control before I spawn into the game here. And therefore the only flag that my team holds is the C flag. And yet it spawned me at a B spawn, which is really strange because the C flag has a lot of spawns available, especially secondary spawns. There's plenty of secondary spawns for the C flag. And in Domination, if you're holding an uncontested flag, you should be spawning on that flag almost every single time with very few exceptions. And looking at this one from the enemy's perspective, I kind of feel bad for them. That would be a very strange spawn to try to predict. They just captured the B flag. They shouldn't be expecting me and my team spawning on the B flag. But that's just one example. Here's another example from the same gaming session from the gameplay you're actually watching throughout this video, since I was running into this a lot throughout this gameplay, just really strange situations. But this one was the most strange. In this situation, my team holds A and B, and we are pushed up in the direction of the C flag, but none of my teammates have touched the C flag, none of the enemies have touched the A flag at this point, and there's definitely still room for the enemy team to be spawning on this general side of the map. We were definitely approaching what could have ended up being a spawn flip, but I am quite confident that a couple weeks ago, I wouldn't have spawned here. I would have spawned somewhere around the A flag, because that's what I fully expected. So there we go, just a couple examples I noticed from yesterday's gaming session where it seems like the spawns just don't have that same attachment that they used to to the flags that your team holds. And when you don't do this, this can lead to some very confusing flow on the map because you see that the enemy has a flag, they have room to spawn at their flag. So of course, that's the general direction that you're expecting enemies to be coming from. However, recently I've been noticing enemies popping up in some really strange places that I really don't expect them to be in because they don't seem to be tied as heavily to the flags that you're holding. As for the next trend that I was noticing, this was a lot more mid-map spawns, and this may tie in a little bit with that first factor that I mentioned, but I've been noticing several situations where I'm spawning toward the middle of the map rather than on the ends of the map or even the edges of the map on the sides. And those types of spawns are really difficult for anybody to predict, and then on top of that, it feels awkward to spawn in those positions because you could be potentially surrounded. You have to worry about 360 degrees, and that's why, generally speaking, and as far as I could tell before this update, that was an extremely rare occurrence that you would almost never run into. And yet, I've been running into that a fair amount with these recent gaming sessions. 
And the best example of this I have is on Subbase. I actually ran into this several times in the same match yesterday, where myself or my teammates would keep spawning in this location here, between the B flag and the A flag. And the weird part is, this was happening a lot while the enemy team held the A flag. Now normally, if the spawn is going to flip here, and they really push into the C flag, like they did in this situation for instance, Typically what you'd see here is a full spawn flip, where now my team starts spawning on the A flag. The enemy has now claimed the C spawn as their spawn. My team spawns all the way on the other side of the map at the A flag, so then they capture that. And that's just a textbook spawn flip. But in this situation, I spawned more mid-map between the B and A flag, and the natural inclination here when you spawn like this is to run toward the B flag, because that's where it's positioning you and pointing you. And that's the type of thing that can lead to really awkward flow and very unpredictable spawns, because I couldn't imagine being on the other team and predicting that this is where the other team is spawning now in this given situation. I would have either still suspected them to be spawning in secondary spawns around the C flag, if possible, and if not possible, then it would be flipping all all the way over to the A side of the map, where they would spawn essentially right on the A flag. And then finally, the last trend that I wanted to point out here that I've been noticing with the spawns, is it seems like they're once again anchoring quite heavily toward the direction of teammates. And that honestly could perhaps just explain the previous two things that I was talking about, where it's less likely you'll spawn on the flag that your team holds, and more likely that you'll spawn near a teammate. So almost like the squad spawn system is seeping back in to some degree. But this is something I've been noticing as well, which makes it very difficult to predict where enemy players are going to be. Not only that, but I've also found myself running into a lot more situations where you're running into like two or three or four enemies at a time, and that's likely due to this apparent adjustment to the spawn system. I don't think player behavior has completely changed overnight. It definitely seems like something has changed with the spawns here that's influencing the situations that we're running into. And there we go. Those are the main trends that I've noticed with the spawns lately, keeping in mind that this could have been as simple as one minor adjustment to the spawn logic, just having a snowball effect. Like perhaps they didn't actually adjust all of these things and they just made one minor adjustment and that just has this impact on things overall. But in general, it definitely feels like they have adjusted something with the spawn logic and I've just been noticing that it's much more difficult to keep track of the map flow and the general direction that enemies are coming from. Like I said, I also feel like I'm running into far more groups of enemies rather than individual players. And it just feels very noticeably worse than pre-patch, which is unfortunate because one of the big highlights with this game for me was the fact that they got domination spawn logic in quite a good place overall. Was it absolutely perfect? No, not at all. But the general logic was at least really refreshing to see because we didn't have good domination spawn logic in Modern Warfare 2, and also the beta for Modern Warfare 3, the domination spawn logic was really bad, and yet they really surprised me with how good they made it for the launch of the game, and now it feels like they've taken that away, which is really frustrating because I really liked the core gameplay of this game, especially in domination before this update, and now I'm suddenly not liking it nearly as much. And I really don't think I'm going crazy here. I'm quite confident they have made some changes. So if anybody from Sledgehammer is watching this and you did in fact make some adjustments to the spawn logic, please hit that undo button because whatever changed feels far worse now than it did before. And I don't think I'm alone on this, but I'd love to hear what you guys think in those comments down below. First off, have you guys noticed a change to the general spawn logic or just the feeling of spawns within the past week or so? And if so, please let me know your experiences with that in those comments down below. And also, if you have noticed a change with the spawns, do you think it's better now or worse than it was before this apparent change took place? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.